We're gonna do another wearable teardown today, everybody. It's the NeuroDreamer Sleep Mask from Cornfield Electronics, and it's designed to help you fall asleep faster and rest easier. I already took it most of the way apart. Uh, all I had to do was unzip the face mask, unzip the inner mesh pouch to find this molded foam piece containing all of the electronics. And then I asked Lady Ada to come over and help me discover those electronics. So here she is. Hey everybody, hey Becky. Let's check out this awesome NeuroDreamer mask. This is what came out of the mask. Taking this apart, we've got the main board here. In the middle is a microcontroller. This is a Zilog 8-bit microcontroller. It's similar to an Arduino, but much less expensive. So when you're going to manufacture, if you're gonna make 5,000, 10,000, every dollar counts. These chips are like 50 cents, 25 cents. This is the LED light board for the eyes. So you have four LEDs. These are basic surface mount LEDs. You've got R for red, yellow, green, and then blue, which is on at this point. And there's a little resistors for each one of them, and this connects with another flex cable to the main board. This flex connector is, is stiff enough that you can bend it, but it's still flexible enough that you can move it around. So it doesn't flop, but it is flexible. And then on the other side, there's basically a mirror version of it. So each eye uh, has the same signal. And then over here we have the debug port. So if you want to reprogram this chip, download the compiler, upload your own blinky, bleepy designs. Down here is the analog section for the speakers. So big DC blocking caps, little filter resistors. That keeps the audio not too loud, pretty good quality, and make sure you don't damage the speakers. Up here, there's the power supply, and this is the LiPo charging circuit. So this circuit charges the rechargeable battery up here. Use the DC jack to do that. You wanna make sure you have a good charging chip for live poly batteries, they're pretty sensitive. You wanna make sure that they don't get damaged by overcharging or over discharging. So that's why you have a separate chip just for that. For this and many other teardowns, we use the Adafruit USB microscope and its articulated stand. Yeah, thanks, Becky. Yeah, this is a cool sensor glove that tells you how much you're gripping your golf club so it'll improve your swing. Too much grip, too little grip. So let's open this up and see how it does that. 